Welcome to the video. As always, my name's Jasper, and in this Webflow tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to create a copy to clipboard function in Webflow. So what we're going to be using is obviously Webflow and also a JavaScript um, utility called Clipboard. So let's jump in. So first what we need to do is we've got our container here. Um, nothing special going on just yet. And then we're going to chuck in just quickly a nice embed. And then what we're going to do there is we're going to jump in here and you're going to see right at the top here, third party CDN provider. So we'll click that. It's going to take us through to GitHub. We're going to copy this line of code here. The first one that you'll see on the screen, we're going to paste it in there, go save and close. Now don't worry, this isn't going to show up when you actually publish your site. Now let's jump back to where we were. Now the next thing we need to do is have the function for the actual button itself. And where we're going to put that is within the actual pages source code. So you're going to come down to before body tag. Now we're going to put in script, actually did that wrong, script, awesome, and then we're going to hit save. And then next what we're going to want to do is chuck in a little div block, let's see where we put that, right there, and then once again we're also going to want another embed. And then what we want to do is create a input. Now the reason why you want to do the input by code is because Webflow won't allow you to put an input if um, it's not within a form. And obviously we don't want a form in this case. So that's fine. So then what we're going to do is put that there and we will give it a center. Actually first we're going to put the button in there as well. So let's have a quick look. Forgot where I put the buttons. There we go. Awesome. Now make sure they're all in line. Then what we'll do is we'll line them up. There we go. And for the button, we're going to want to give that a class of BTN. And I can explain a bit later why we want the class to be that. And you're also going to make sure that the class in this case is the ID is copy me and the class has to be input and the value will be whatever you want the text to be copied. So that doesn't really matter, it could be whatever you'd like. So let's scroll down. So now we want to go to the button and we want to give it a bit of a function. So let's get rid of that little hash there and we're going to add an attribute. And the reason why we're adding an attribute is because if you scroll down here, you're going to see the button has an attribute there. And once again, you'll see the class is BTN. It's like that for a reason, so it's all links up. Now, if we go to, you'll see that it needs clipboard there. So what we're going to do is copy data clipboard dash target we're going to put that in the name and then for the value we'll have hash copy me and that's because right here the ID is copy me so it needs to match up so let's go back to that button put in that value there we go and as you would have seen before when we were in the page and we created that script right there BTN. So all that has to match. So if you want to change the class of your button, just make sure you change all of those values as well. Okay, so next thing you want to do is publish. So we're going to wait for that to load. Go to publish. Oh, no, I just unpublished. Bear with me, people. Bit of a mistake. Publish it again. Okay, now let's go to the page. There we go. And let's see if it works. There you go. So it copied across just right. Let's try it again. Up top. Bam, copy this text. Now we can change that to anything we like. So let's say if we want to change that to Webflow is awesome. Nice and casual. Okay, and then we will publish it again. Open it up. And there you go, Webflow is awesome. And there you have it, nice and simple way to have a copy to clipboard function within your website. 
thanks for watching the video look forward to seeing you in the next one um if you do like the content please subscribe it does help and also drop a like and if you've got any ideas for any videos for webflow tutorials that you'd like me to cover um, mention them in the comments section and i may just be able to help but thanks for watching and see you on the next one